Hello everyone. Um, today I'll be discussing what makes a game good, like especially a Roblox game. Today, well, then again, I the back. I'm not gonna be playing the game actually. I'm just fused with someone so they can grind. And the game is Dragon Blocks Ultimate. I highly recommend you play it. Um, but enjoy this guy kicking uh, this guy's ass. Um, but what was I on? Yeah, what makes a Roblox game good? Number one, it has to have a, either a sound, like, you know, background music or, you know, some type of, what makes it, or what makes it really stand out. Um, Phantom Forces, its gameplay stands out so well. There's a lot of things that stand out. Uh, like the customization. Another thing is compatibility. If a game is compatible with every single thing that Roblox runs, phone, tablet, Xbox, computer, there has to be a compatibility with it. You can't just be lazy and just say, here, I don't give a fuck anymore. No, I'm not adding to, on to anything. Fuck you. The, no, this is not throwing shade at anyone or any game in particular. <clears throat> but, uh, you know, they, they know who they are. And I do not, even though I've made, I've said my deeds and, you know, the whole issue's over. Um, but let's just take see how many like then again there's a oh. on oh, fuck. come on I collapsed at the bar to, for recording and I don't all right here let me just put it right there okay many most of the time not bad. I'm sorry. I, I'm losing track. It's like 8 o'clock right now. Uh, at night. And then what we'll makes us a game? It's like, not only is there so many buttons to choose from, so many, everything. It's so customizable, and that's what I fucking love about it. You got your boom, you got your quests, you got your stats, you got your menu with even more buttons to push. You got your skills with even more buttons to push. You got these buttons to push. I got this button, the block button, to push. And it's so amazing of how well it just fucking works. It's all seamless. All on, all on the side of the screen right now, they never overlap each other. Or they, or you know, they actually fucking work. And then again, I'm not throwing shade at any developer or a game. Another thing that makes it good is the quality. Is it just, uh, you know what? Fuck you. I don't care. Um, just fuck you in general. And they make the game a grind fest. Like, or not a grind fest. A RNG fest. You ha like, I hate games that, ha that make you rely on to get something you have to wait. There... I'm gonna use uh, I'm gonna use uh, Ultimate Assembled as an example. To get way big, it's a 0.001% chance with full mastery, obviously on the AF watch. If you run an auto clicker or a macro to simulate pressing the button to transform into D transform, every millisecond. Which is like, or no, every second, my bad. That's over 28,000, or like 208, or 280,000 seconds, or something, to simulate over 8 hours. So like, you know, person's average sleep. Um, if you multiply or divide, I forgot which one, you get essentially through that old 28, uh, the, the old 8 hours. 
um, you get a two point or no, a, a 28.8% chance to get way big. Why? The whole game is based upon RNG. Then again, I love the game because not only do they have... Mind you, I've went on an ult. I don't care, Maple. You can fucking... I don't know. Sit on a chair and have a comfortable life. Yes. I did. I, I, I have an ult. Because I'm bored and I want to play the game and see how well it's gone. Clearly it's apparently going downhill knowing the community has gotten even more fucked up than before. People killing other people for parts. People exploiting and stuff like that. But let, let's just not... Let's just skip... Let's just... I, I, let, I'm going to drop that subject. I'm going to pick up a new one. The the gameplay. Is it is it too fleshed out? Is there... Is it too complicated? Is it too simple? Is it too boring? Is it too fast, fa uh, fast paced? Is it too simple? Is it too difficult? Uh, difficult? My bad. Sorry. My uh, my brain thinks faster than I can speak. Also, um, in a bit, I will. Sorry, just had to drink some water. Um, another thing is, uh, uh, not only the gameplay but, and stuff like that, but how fun is it really? Does it, like, obviously there's people who play the fucking shit out of simulators, or dot me or whatever. Fuck you, dot me, because every time I try to play a game, you're always breaking the fucking servers. Okay, um, yeah. I'm trying to play a fucking simple game that's only one player and then the fucking servers were down because everyone was playing on Adopt Me. Fuck you. Fuck you, Adopt Me. Um. Yeah. Um. What? The true thing is. It's. It's, it's, it's not only its simplicity, but it's, it's act it has to be action packed. If it's just an RP game, okay, I'm fine with it. But if it's an RP game or a game in general that takes other models or other scripts or other UIs from other games, then you can go fuck yourself because that shit's disgusting. If you're too lazy to make... I'm going to stop myself right there before I continue to talk. Is man good? Okay. Um, um, yeah, but what I'm just saying... Um, it's, if you want to make a good Roblox game, make sure not only is it accessible to everyone, it has good gameplay, it's not a total RNG fest, and it's not a haha, give me money if you want to be able to fucking not die because someone decides to be, be a fucking mega virgin and spend all their money on a game. <clears throat> Totally did not, uh, totally did not buy every single, uh, farm except for the, the god things. Mind you, the reason why I buy stuff in this game is I don't, the things I never buy is the boosters, i.e. Whatever, the talents. I don't like that, I don't like those. No. Nope. Not, I don't buy them. I only buy the forms because I fucking love them. Fuck, if I had to play a game and I had to buy a form that I really fucking love, oh, fuck it, I'll take my money, developer. Go ahead and take my fucking money. But if it's a game where you have to literally dump thousands and thousands of Robux just to be good enough to not die as soon as you spawn, then you have a fucking issue. Then it comes to certain games who overprice their private servers. It's like a haha get fucked move. Oh, you... You want you want to you know you want to be able to get good. Um, so just buy this thing that's worth thousand robux for a private server. Motherfucker, your game passes don't even add up. All of your game passes for that game add up. Don't even equivalent or like add to like a thousand robux. 
Matter of fact, the Game Pass should be more fucking expensive than the private servers. Um... But always, guys, like, I know this video's just went over 10 minutes, and most of it's just been exclaiming like, why I fucking hate some games. But many games, especially the, the ripoffs, like the, the Ben 23 Dimension, or the, whatever the fuck it's called. Not only most of those scripts are just copy and paste for different games, like the negative Ben Dimension or whatever. It's just a copy and paste of each thing. And it's annoying. The negative bend of dimension is literally just the grayscale. Uh, you know, like, you don't go on your camera, this like, or like filter on Instagram, because we all know most of you guys use Instagram because you guys are losers. I'm, I'm joking. But there's a grayscale, which everything looked like it's a black and white movie. That's all it was. Nothing else, just that feature alone. And, that, and that's that sucks. That, that's like it's disappointing to know that you wasted your time. I think it must be just copy and paste of the games, or they make a fan made of it, and it's completely like ass cheeks. Not throwing shade to anyone this time. Nope, not at all. None whatsoever. But. I love Roblox games because it allows the ability for the developers to be creative and put the players in the developer's own world. And it's amazing. It's, it's absolutely baffling how someone puts hard work into it. And they make the player play in, their, in the developer's own mind of what the game is. It, it really gets your gears turning of how the game works itself. Not just a simple stay at something for long enough and then you get have a chance of not becoming something else and getting something and getting something new. Um, and it's like, and again, I want to clarify this, not throwing shade, because many people would think I would throw shade on some game developers, but I'm not. Um, just, it's, it's absolutely baffling, like, and it's, it's the ability that many developers put love into the game. Many people put, many, many developers put devotion into the game instead of drag drop drag dra yeah I'm gonna cut this whole line of text from your game for the transformation scenes and scripts and just fucking ignore that just put it back into my game call it my own make a shitty UI and I'm done yes I'm looking at you motherfucker uh Pokemon Brick Bronze ripoffs and Ben 23 talking games because legit most of the games are just the, the transformation scripts actually no my bad Ben 23's and the, and the fucking games like those don't have transformation scripts it's just a model morph and it gives you items that's it my bad sorry there's me getting smelt and shit um, so I keep on blanking out because it's like I'm trying to slow down my brain so I can speak without sounding like I'm having a stroke but it's it's the pure definition of how and also the game has to look pretty my bad I forgot about that the game has to look appealing to the eyes would you rather? Many females will be uncomfortable who are watching this, but for the men in here who are watching the video, would you want 
to date, or not date, would you want, actually no, because most of my viewers are probably young as hell, would you want, hmm, Okay, let me make it better. Would you want a game to look like, I don't know, cyberpunk graphics wise? But then your game gets over, like, gets fucking thrown at the window for a game that's just ripoff of yours with shitty graphics and it was made in Unity. And it's bone flu ads. I'm looking at you, Among Us ripoffs. Stop it. Get some fucking help. Also, I'm looking at you, Pixel Gun 3D. You became your game and more than nothing than to today's day of a battle royale pay to win. You wanna get the newest guns? You have to spend money. It's disgusting. And Pixel Gun, fuck you. Because you know what? You don't stop anything. You don't you don't do anything regarding making new content. You just take content from other games that are popular and put it into your game. The Battle Royale one. It's a mini game. For many VR games. The imposter thing. Among Us. Fuck, even that glider game. I forgot what game for it was, but it was like a... It reminds me of uh, Superman for the N64. All you did was fly through fucking hoops. That's all you did, pal. The only thing that's really interesting is the campaign, yet the fucking thing is that it's so- it's too difficult for the end that you wanna- I literally broke my fucking old ass tablet trying to get to the final stage and I just said, fuck it, I'm not playing it anymore. Also, the moderation's absolutely ass. People actually hacks and people actually bypass shit. They don't say nothing happens. Someone who's a new, who's been a like been a veteran like me gets permanently banned because they got claimed of cheating, even though they have all everything. Fuck! I I played fucking Pixgun 3D when the Slender Map was still a thing. When it was an actual playable map in multiplayer. is wrong with you? You're taking a lot of good things out. Homing, uh, launchers, like, rocket launchers and shit like that. Those got removed. Same with the ones, some of the ones that are controllable. You just fucking needed those out saying, it's, it's not fair for gameplay. Fuck out of here. You literally have a gun that can one-shot you and get that early, early as fuck. But now you have to meet a level requirement and a rank requirement. And to get ranks, mind you, you have to play the actual multiplayer. Which sucks. It's it's It sucks. And again, I said I'm not going to shit on any game developer, but I was referring to Roblox developers. Fuck you, Pixel Gun. You made the game ass cheeks. Fuck you for making the game ass cheeks. It's like, well, I... Ah. This is probably the longest video I've ever done before that's, like, actually recorded. But, uh... Yeah, that's my opinion on what makes a game good. Uh, and as always, guys, I'll talk to you guys later.